the question about the fuel cycle, uh, we, the number of studies have been done, particularly uh, looking at comparative technologies. Uh, we've looked at the scale of program necessary to support uh, various uh, steps in, in, in the fuel cycle conversion, enrichment, fuel fabrication, etc. Uh, in terms of the various legal processes, we have our own legislation, namely the Nuclear Energy Act, which is really the, the, the framework that we operate within. Uh, we have full inspections by the International Atomic Energy Agency. We acceded to relevant treaties. Uh, we would run an entirely open, inspectable process, and so there aren't any legal issues uh, that are not already attended to in terms of, of, of both South African legislation and our compliance with the international protocols that we've signed up to. Question of, of uh, whether we have enough power to enrich, to create more power, that's an interesting one. Um, however, you must understand that if you have nuclear power plants which are only due in 2023, uh, the time that you would require an enrichment plant is round about that time as well. And hopefully in 13, 14 years' time, uh, the immediate crisis that we see around not putting new big capital projects which are, which are power intensive online would have disappeared. 